how to create email campaign in Brevo. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you guys how you will be able to use Brevo and create your very own email campaign. Now, as you can see right now in Brevo, I'm currently in the dashboard and under campaigns, you have different options over here. Of course, the first option is email, which is what we will be tackling in today's video. But you also have other options such as SMS, WhatsApp, Web Push, Facebook ads, and many more. So there are different types of campaigns that you could utilize aside from email. And you could try those other applications or other features later on if you have or if you enjoy using Brevo as your source of campaigns or as your platform to create campaigns. So uh, basically over here right now in campaigns, simply select email and we will be able to see different things that are specifically for email campaigns such as existing email campaigns that you have. But right now we don't have any so let's click on create an email campaign over here on the top right to get started with the creation of our email campaign. So the first step of course is to choose the type of email campaign. You have your regular or an A-B test over here. The A-B test is basically you're going to create two versions of your email campaign and you're going to check which version has the best engagement for your or has the best engagement with your recipient. So the A-B testing is really great for testing new designs or testing which one is the best. Although for us, this is not something we could use right now because this is a specific feature is only available for accounts that is currently subscribed to a plan. So we're going to stick with regular. And so you're going to enter your campaign name. So let's say a promotion campaign. So we like that and create campaign. Now that will be the name of our promotional or our email campaign. Now we're going to enter different data so we hear that is a requirement. You have sender, which is of course you. You're going to add recipients. So you can add your contacts over here, whoever is in your contacts, you could put that. But right now I don't have anyone in my contact. So depending on the amount of contacts that you have, you could add them over here, whoever they are. If you want to specify who you want, uh, specifically do you want to send the email to, you could also specify that as long as they are in your contacts. Or if you want to simply Send it to everyone if in your contacts. That is totally possible as well. You can also add a subject over here for your uh, campaign. So let's say our subject line is a promotional. So let's say 60% uh, off. Subscribe now. Something like that. Then you have your preview text over here. Uh, simply like, you know, give a description of what you're trying to promote. Uh, avail now. Avail now for a limited time only. Don't miss your chance. There we go. So this is what uh, people will see on their inbox. As you can see, sixty percent off. Subscribe now. Avail now for a limited time only. So uh, we could save that. Then you have your design over here. The content of your uh email campaign so you have different templates over here that you could choose from you have a default template a self product template a tell a story template and register for an event template or you could start from scratch as well now since we are trying to promote some sort of uh discount i guess we could settle with sell a product for now if you want to preview a design you can click on preview uh also these templates are not limited to their type. If you want to sell a product but using a template of Tell a Story, you could easily do that as well. You're just going to change a different element. Everything's customizable so you're not really going to have a hard time converting a specific template. So over here, let's click on Use Template. And now over here, uh, we could edit our styles in their design tab. So uh, let's use this. And as you can see over here on the right side, this is what the email would look like. This is what your user will be able to see. So over here on the left side, you have your content. You have 
different blocks so you have all of these options to choose from that you could build so for example i would like to add a video i could easily drag and drop it to a specific section that i want and it will be placed there and if i select them i will be able to see the video settings so this is a video so i could see a video settings i could add a rounded corner over here so let's simply add i guess 60 or as much as i can we go and as you can see it's going to round the corners you could select the video url that you want to be displayed here so uh if you have a video of whatever product you're trying to promote or whatever you are trying to show you could simply put that over here and you could also put an alternative text here if ever the user cannot view it so let's say promotional video this is a text that would appear if they cannot preview the video you can check out layouts over here, spacing, and borders. Now, adding content is very easy. Just like what we did earlier, you can easily drag and drop. You could add your socials, as you can see here. If you select it, you could collect your different social media links over here. So if you put your Facebook page, your X page, your YouTube account, and your LinkedIn, they could easily go through and visit those different platforms by simply selecting it from your uh, socials over here there's also payment links and many more if you want to modify you can simply select the section that you want to modify and if you want to drag it you can easily click on drag and you can move in around uh, just like that if you want to easily rearrange them simply click on the arrows just like that which would allow you to move them very quickly if you want to duplicate simply click on the duplicate icon and you can delete if you want to change the content, simply double click it and then simply type whatever you want as the content, just like that. You will be able to change the paragraph options as you can see here from heading. And you can change the font, the font size and many more settings. It's very easy to modify and create your email campaign with Brevo. But let's say this is now our final output. We can easily click on save and quit and we will be going back to the, the previous section. Now, all you need now is the recipient. Now, right now, I don't have a recipient, so I can't complete our creation. But for you guys, I assume you will have your recipients. So simply add them over here and you can easily preview and test it or schedule the sending or schedule the date that the email will be sent to your deferred recipient. It's that simple. And as you can see, it's asking us to complete all the required steps to schedule this. So that's basically it guys, that is how simple and that's the very simple way on how you will be able to create a campaign or specifically an email campaign with Brevo. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.